For more on this, we turn to Scott Jennings, who did political analysis for the George W. Bush White House. Scott, I want to talk to you about this USC LA Times poll, which is which is different from the other polls. It is the only poll. It, that poll is the only poll now, as I mentioned, currently showing a Donald Trump lead, and it hasn't shown Hillary Clinton ahead since back at the end of the one they took right after her convention. Could you just tell us what's different about this poll? Yeah, Britt, this poll is different because they are polling the same group of people every night. They have a pool of about 3,200 people that they poll every night. It's a tracking poll, so every day's average is an average of the previous nights uh, with today's added in. This poll also is different because of the way they are collecting the sample of people that they're polling. They ask people to self-report who they voted for in the 2012 presidential election. Some analysts believe because people don't remember correctly who they voted for or maybe they don't tell the truth about who they voted for, that your sample could be off when you gather a sample that way. And some people believe maybe the sample could be a little bit too Republican because there were some Romney voters who were essentially occupying slots that should have been Obama voters in this survey. But one thing about this survey oh, wait, that wait, is stop, true is you can't follow Yeah. Let me stop you right there. Well, I'm sorry, I, I didn't catch that. Why would uh, uh, Romney voters be represented as Obama voters or the other way around? I, I, don't, I don't. I didn't get that. Well, when you were picking the sample of voters, you would ask people, did you vote for Obama or Romney in 2012? And if you misremembered who you voted for or you misreported who you voted for, let's say I'm a Romney voter, but I said I voted for Obama, then I would be occupying a slot that wasn't meant for me in the sample and vice versa. So well, because yeah, of the way they gathered up the sample. Yeah. So right. in this case, there are some analysts that believe there may be too many Romney voters in the sample. Of course, we won't know until election night. They may be you know, getting it right, and everybody else may be getting it wrong. But as you say, they're the only poll in the nation showing Trump with a lead. Right, but they also have by far the largest sample, correct? That is correct. They have a pool of over 3,000 people uh, they're tracking on a nightly basis. But again, how it differs from other surveys, it's the same group every single night. Most other surveys are doing random sampling every night. They're not tracking polls. It's a random sample of different people every night. So... I guess that poll would be most useful if you used it, the poll, to compare with that poll's earlier results rather than comparing them to other polls. That is correct. What you're looking for in a survey like this is trends. How are things flowing? And here again, since the debate, we're seeing this survey showing not really a trend toward Hillary Clinton. In fact, showing Donald Trump doing just fine in this. So, again, if you believe the sample is too pro-Republican, that's something that you would expect. But unlike the other national surveys, we're not seeing it flow back towards Hillary uh, the way we're seeing in the Fox News poll, the CNN poll that came out tonight, and several others. All right. There's one, one last uh, question I want to ask you. And this is about um, the aftermath of the debate, which th at least three polls and maybe more have shown people overwhelmingly thought that, that Hillary Clinton had won. And yet in the national polling averages, we're not seeing a big result there. But... In our own poll, our own Fox News poll that came out on Friday, we did see some interesting trends in terms of how people felt about the candidates on the issues. Let's take a look at, at that particular that poll result, which uh, showed issue results. Um, we should be able to put it up on the screen. There you see foreign policy, immigration, terrorism, crime, uh, all favor Hillary Clinton, overwhelmingly on foreign policy, remarkably so on immigration, terrorism even, which has been a big theme for Mr. Trump, uh, and crime she even leads on. Only on government corruption and the economy does Mr. Trump lead, and only narrowly on the economy. Um, is that a sign? I mean, th those numbers all look pretty favorable to her. Is that a sign, perhaps, of people's reaction to the debates? The debate, excuse me. I, I, yes, I think the debate reaction is, is coloring these numbers. And there was another number in the Fox News poll that I think helps explain it, and that was on temperament. She had a net 16-point gain on temperament. Donald Trump's image was largely unchanged, but her temperament number spiked, and temperament goes to how can you handle a crisis? And you would say terrorism, national security, and crime issues might be more in the crisis bucket, where Trump continues to lead is on the economy bucket because he's obviously pitching himself as a businessman who's created jobs. That's why the New York Times tax story is interesting, not because of taxes, but because of whether or not it will puncture his narrative of being a successful businessman. So right now, on the top three issues, she leads on two. But for Trump, the most important issue, the economy, he retains a lead. He really needs to get back to that narrative of trade and creating jobs in the next debate and not get bogged down by other things, because that's the one area where he may still have room to run against Hillary Clinton.
All right. Scott Jennings, thank you very much. Thanks for